last year. Runners up in uh, Russian nationals. They were last year too. Eighth in the world championships. Zesenia Monko and Kirill Kalivin. They've got a, a polka and a waltz in store for their short dance. step sequence started facing stage front to the judges to emphasize it Super alignment with the arms moving through the twizzle movement. That was a strong performance indeed, and uh, it had to be. Uh, there's an interesting dilemma here because uh, these two finished second in Russian nationals, remember, last year. But, of course, uh, Bobrova and Soloviev weren't competing. So uh, it'll be interesting to see which one of these two teams finishes with their nose ahead here in the short dance. It, it will indeed. They, they started off unusually I, I think for me in the straight line lift and it was in a spread position it was strong covered a load of ice and that was very good the twizzles excellent with the arms complete alignment in there the Ravensburger was his hips were a little bit back for me it wasn't quite as free over the ice as we've seen particularly with Bob Rover and Soloviev wasn't quite as much ice coverage there and on the partial step sequence I for me it, it's Russian big skating but I have to go through it again and, and dig into the content because one of the things of doing great big long edges with big arms is how much actual turn content is there there. And a few back crosses, lovely steps and presenting out to the audience, but how much detail in that presentation is there compared to some of the others. And that's what those technical specialists will have been looking at and analyzing. And to me, it looked a little <coughs> light because of the those huge edges which are impressive in their own right without a slide rule I'm, I'm not able to technically know and I'm not a technical specialist so um, wouldn't it's not the job I'd like in the world 
<laughs> well, you can see the technical score there on the, the left, top left-hand corner of your screen. It's not really a match to the leading team at the, the moment. Remember Bobrova and Soloviev, 64.38, their score. They're what, nine points ahead of uh, the team from Denmark. Loving the way the arms came down there and go up. Very difficult to get that to match at speed. And uh, you might have noticed uh, the change in music. The, the options in the music is a waltz plus any number of the following rhythms. You could have a foxtrot, a march, or a polka. And uh, all the rhythms are described in the ISU music booklet. And you go into the details of that to find uh, the beats per minute you're allowed, etc., etc., etc. And then you push it as far as you can with the rules least if you're at the top. So we've had no deductions so far for extended lifts. Sorry there, Chris. Good Sorry. clean uh, turns there, you could see, done at speed. So it's a 57.44, that has them in second place.